Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, wherever you have this planetary placement in your chart, claim it only if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, please do not force fit on this channel. There is sick, thick, dense energy on YouTube. It is a worldwide platform, so sharing is caring. All right? And Sagittarius, wherever you are, whoever you are on this whole entire planet, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, we are grateful for your presence. And whether or not anybody else has told you this, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. Now let's hit this. Clear and ground for Sagittarius. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Sagittarius. Also, there is no gender. There's masculine and feminine energy. We are working with energy. Anybody could be resonating in either or at any time. It's my job to read you the energy. It's your job to let it help you if it resonates, all right? It's about being helpful and keeping the energy flow in a positive direction, right? Show me the energy. I will call out the most predominant signs that show their face. Oh, you know what? Spirit says, let's start with the kippers this week. Here we go. Kippers are always shuffled. Kippers only get red in the upright. Show me Sagittarius Kipper. Here we go. <clears throat> Sagittarius. Sagittarius. That was Delilah. Thief. Thief. Thief in the house. Oh, my God. All right. So, thief, thief, thief in the house. Listen. 24 is six. This is something or somebody that's working maybe perhaps with somebody else. There could be an age difference in these two people. Somebody is trying to distract somebody with something that's aesthetically pleasing. It's a metaphor. How could a man take his eyes off that cleavage? He couldn't, right? So distract him. And while he's distracted, somebody's picking out of his pocket. And, you know, you know what I'm saying? This guy doesn't even realize somebody's picking out of his pocket. For all he knows, he's, you know, growing a boner. I'm serious. You know what I mean? Like, so be careful about being distracted and perhaps... Yeah, manipulated out of something, you know, something. Yeah, especially if you're a wealthy person here. All right? Wealthy man, 13 or 4. Okay? 24, 6, 13 or 4. You know, maybe people perceive you that you probably could be wealthy. But if somebody's perceiving you that way, they're trying to take something from you, perhaps. All right, I might have to get rid of this incense already. Let's see. <clears throat> Show me, Kipper, what else do you have to tell Sagittarius? Thank you. So somebody might be getting some kind of a message of concern. It could be about anything. 14 or 5. I don't know. i got to do something with this. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, there goes Tibbs. <laughs> it was Tibbs. Thanks, Delilah. Sorry, you just... Okay, here we go. We just scared Delilah to death. Somebody, um... Okay, somebody is working really hard here. This is something that requires some kind of skill because not everybody knows how to sew. So I'm not saying it's actually sewing, but it's something that, you know, not everybody knows how to do. This is something that somebody could be doing perhaps on the side. Perhaps they're up late at night or, you know, on the weekends. Somebody's tired. Maybe they're doing this to make ends meet. Whatever their reasons are, okay? But somebody's you know, got some kind of craft and they're working it. <laughs> they're working it. Somebody could be going to prison. And it came in right under this freaking thief over here, okay? So these people are going to get caught. Who's ever, you know, yeah. And be glad if they're only going to prison. Because in other countries, for stealing, people get their hands chopped off. 29 or 11. Give me a sequence. Give me a megahertz for Sagittarius spirit. Healing sound bath. Thank you. Okay, here we go. You got a house. 20. So, this could involve a house, real estate. Maybe somebody tried to actually rob a house, right? Somebody could have actually tried to rob the house of somebody they thought was wealthy. Look at this. You couldn't make it up. Um, so, maybe they're going to get caught and go to jail. This could also involve something that's tangible because the house is tangible, like something big, like a property, a car, a, you know, jewelry, a significant amount of money, something that's tangible, right? 20. All right. Here you go. Family room. So that, uh -huh. yeah, somebody might have thought the house was empty because look, the family room is empty. They went in to rob it, they got caught, and they're going, they're, you're going to hear about something like that for damn 
Skippy, all right? I'm here with Skippy. So here you go. Um, this room is empty, though, all right? So this could be somebody that lives alone. Maybe it's a wealthy person, man or woman, that lives alone. Somebody try to rob that. Anyway, there's a new pathway opening up for somebody here. 35 or 8. Leo energy. If you if you were in kind of some kind of a uh, shadow period in your life, dark night of the soul, chrysalis state, whatever it was, the yellow butterflies represent transformation. There's a path opening here, okay? There's I'm gonna say light at the end of the tunnel, but in this case, there's sunshine at the end of the path. You understand what I'm saying? Leo energy. So you got 35 or 8. Two, two, two. Two, two, two is your megahertz. This is your full body awakening. That's what that is. Healing sound bath. Two, two, two hertz. All right, here we go. Anything else, Kipper? There is a scenario going around here where there's somebody that, whether they're wealthy or not, they, they are wealthy because they have a, some kind of a home, all right? And just having a roof over your head is wealth nowadays, right? Well, always. But perhaps, you know, the house is empty a lot. Maybe this person's working to keep the house over their head. I don't know, but somebody probably perceived that and maybe, oh, somebody could have even tried to distract them by like maybe taking them out so somebody could get in the house. Feel what I'm saying? Somebody's going to rat somebody out there. I think somebody's going to get caught and they're going to rat. The letters C, the letters M, the letters H. That's a crazy story. But you know what? I have to give you what the spirit tells me. So, yeah. If you think that you could be involved in something like that, maybe you're the wealthy person. Maybe you're the thief setting this up. Think twice. And now I'm hearing Beretta. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Don't do it. Isn't that Beretta? Yeah, I think it was Beretta. Whatever. Somebody's name could be Beretta. I know that's going way back, younger than, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, all right? Here we go. Somebody's going to get a great fortune as a mature woman here. 26 or 8 and 6 again. So you see what I'm saying? Like, just, yeah. Over here, there's a main man. Now, this main male, you know, this guy doesn't look nefarious particularly, but, you know... Who's to say what thieves look like, right? <laughs> this could be the wealthy man. This could be somebody else. This could be the person that's going to rat, right? I don't know. Here we go. It's going to be different for everybody. Some mature woman might live alone here. They, You might get a concern about a mature woman or a mature woman sending you a message of concern about somebody that's going to prison because they got caught robbing. Oh, my God. Somebody's going to get a message of concern. It could be from the mother, like a mature woman that, that somebody got caught going to prison because, yeah, you wait and see. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's uh, committed, dedicated, focus, working really hard here, probably on their craft. What did I tell you over here? Um, see the occupation, the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's really, okay, so look, this takes a lot of commitment, dedication, and focus, all right? Somebody's really trying to do the best they can. They're doing really the hardest they can to put a lot of pride in what they're doing, all right? This is what? This is a skill that not everybody has, and whatever they're skilled at, they are putting pride into it. So there's that. Good for them. Eight of Pentacles. All right, so here you go. Somebody is jealous. Somebody wants to start a lot of fight, maybe even a fist fight. Arguments, they, somebody wants to win at all costs. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is hostility and stress, conflict, tension, arguing, fighting. Somebody's watching somebody. They think that they Listen, somebody might really realize that somebody's watching. Somebody might be watching somebody watching somebody. You know what I mean? This person's not doing a good job of hiding that they're watching, though. So I think, that, you know. And, and what it is is somebody's... Look, somebody's watching somebody... Be committed and dedicated and focused probably on their career. And they're jealous of this. This is what's going on with that, Sagittarius. All right. I'm hearing crimson and clover over and over. What the hell is that? Somebody's having a wish come true. Aquarius energy, healing, hope for the future. Gift from the divine. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Sagittarius, I'm so happy for you. So you got to start. Hope for your future. Healing. Oh, you know, some kind of gift from the divine. Yeah, it's beautiful. And this is a nine of pentacles, what this wish is. This is, you know, being um, rewarded for your efforts, luxury, achievement, uh, security, financial and materialistic harvest. Some of you are probably single. Maybe got Virgo in your chart. Something can be con significant about bluebirds. I'm hearing bluebird, bluebird on my shoulder. But what the hell is that? Wow. Okay. So this is a wish come true. This is a gift for whatever, for whatever you've been through. Did you put in the work now? See, this is the thing. You put in the work. 
over whatever, and let me tell you something, whatever hostilities or people this is, look, first of all, it's behind your back, all right? Because you could care less, <laughs> that's first of all. But also, it's for whatever these people try to do to defeat you at all costs. This is like your um, come up and what? It's good karma. You got a Knight of Swords in reverse. So Knight of Swords in Reverse is somebody that's, I, we don't like, first of all, we don't like Swords in Reverse on any level. Because Swords is the realm of the mind. In Reverse, it's a twisted, it's a twisted, <laughs> it's a twisted mind. Yeah, I was going to say something else, but um, yeah. So, and also it could be a Gemini because you got the lovers coming in Reverse. Maybe somebody didn't want to make a decision. Somebody that was immature, somebody that was very judgmental or something, you know, and a decision wasn't being made. It's, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say it's unrequited. I'm just going to say there's manipulation there with the Knight of Swords in reverse. It's in, it's out. It's in for a good time, not for a long time. It's breadcrumbs. It's narcissism. It's, you know, yeah. It's not a good energy, okay? This person could be this person here, okay? They want to defeat you because of what they had. They see you having a wish come true and, and coming up. Somebody's coming up. I'm hearing, I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Yeah, so somebody's watching this. Nasty. See, whatever you're doing over here, because this is your energy that you are doing, okay? And I don't think you're doing it for any reason except for this is your calling. I really don't. Like, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is from the divine. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And it's bringing you success in some manner. Now, listen, I'm not saying, you know, off the chart success. But nine of pentacles is one less than ten, so let's be real about that. Show me what's coming in now on the next. You have Gemini energy now. You have Aquarius energy. You have Virgo. I told you Leo down here, right? Okay, let's see what else do we have. All right. So now, somebody, somebody, whether this is you or them, the energy is fluid. So you have to apply it only if it applies. And only in the, for your higher good. You see, we're not trying to throw triggers here. Look, eight of swords. Somebody's stuck in their head. Somebody just wants to drive themselves crazy for whatever they're thinking, it's going to be different for everybody. It's worldwide. But this is unnecessary. This is like self-imposed torture, right? What are you, some kind of sadomasochist? What are you doing over here? Who are you? Stop. Stand. All you got to do is stand up. My nose. All you have to do is stand up, okay? Just stand up and stop thinking. Okay, the only way things are going to change is if you start looking at things in a different way, right? So whatever this is, just, yeah, get a different perspective. Just grab a different perspective. Try to... Uh, get the eon, ions, get the uh, energy flowing positively, all right? So whatever negative thoughts you're thinking, the minute you think them, transmute them to something positive. Take control of the situation, Aries energy. The emperor is larger in charge and in control, okay? The emperor is the one that's very stable, dependable, authoritative, protective. Male or female, okay? They're in charge. You could be a leader in some, some sort, or you could be coming into... There could be an Aries involved in this, Sagittarius, whether this is you or somebody else with Aries energy. Somebody who's showing... Somebody who pulls some kind of strings, I can tell you that. Somebody who's some kind of an authority. Maybe they have a higher knowledge or they're teaching other people or they're showing other people which steps to take or something like this, okay? Anyway, yeah. So either you're driving yourself crazy about this person or, you know, it's time for you to take this control is what I'm really feeling and walk away from something. What are you going to walk away from? It's going to be different for everybody. But Eight of Cups is knowing that whatever, all those Eight Cups... That you're walking away from. Nothing was for you. It wasn't fulfilling. That was, you know, those were your uh, stepping stones. I'm hearing stepping stones. Oh, stepping stones. Nice. So everything that came before is your stepping stone, your learning curve, right? Everybody's on a learning curve. Everything in life is learning. If you're not learning, then forget it. Just, you better hang it up right now. You can learn every day to the day you die. Einstein, at the age of 80, something said, I'm still learning every day. That's the whole point. It's the journey. It's not the destination. So you got to learn. You have to be open to learn every day. I'm telling you right now. Anybody who thinks they know everything, you're finished. I don't, just go away. I don't even want to talk to you. It's about learning every day, okay? So the stepping stones in life. Everything that came before were your stepping stones here, Sagittarius, for your ninth and 10th cup, for your ultimate fulfillment, for your, for your success here, for your calling, for your calling in life. Anybody that didn't want to make a decision wants to come at you half-assed in this Knight of Swords, uh, condescending, rude, disrespectful, immature, in for a good time, egotistical attitude, yeah, if you're in your head about that, you better just let that shit go. That shit's beneath you. You're an emperor here, okay? This is what. So you have to, you know, you have to walk away. Take this control over. See, maybe a lot of you, you got eights here. I'm going to give you eights too. Eight, eight, eight. 
This is to remove any negativity. This mega hurts. If you want, you know, listen, any mega hurts you listen to on this channel is good for me. So I'll just tell you what 888 is. 888 hurts is removing negativity. So I think that what this is saying here is that you have to take control of the situation. Get out of your head about something you got to walk away from. Those were only stepping stones. Yeah, I'm hearing stepping stones like so loud and clear. Wow. Hearing the name Scott. Scott. Six of Wands. Yeah, it's your success. You're going to, whatever you're walking away from, you're walking right into your success. Now, I do also want to say, you know, we, I, I particularly, everybody reads cards their own way. I read them any which way they go. Over here, the, if you notice, the Six of Wands is success, public recognition, whatever that is. That could just be people or friends that you know, whatever. Looking at you in a successful way, like you conquered something and you, you know, you're maybe stable and independent. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, success. And being rewarded for it. So whatever that you work on here, that you put your time and effort into, that's a gift. That's your calling. Just, yeah. Show me. Now, we got uh, four. I need two more on this world, please. Two more. Spirit and ancestors, give it to me. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is actually really a beautiful read. read I'm telling you. Come on. Here we go. So, some of you need to get some rest. You, 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 it's a time out because something's about to move really far. Oh, oh wow, look at that. Listen, some of you need to take a minute right here. You're walking into the success. It's right in the middle of the read, okay? The success and money and everything here, rewarding for all your efforts. You need to nurture yourself. Make sure you're eating properly. Make sure you're doing a nice skin regimen. Make sure you're drinking water. Apple cider vinegar is amazing, okay? It just takes care of everything. Um... Braggs, B-R-A-G-G-S. Braggs apple cider vinegar. A little bit of this every day. <laughs> yeah, an apple a day takes the doctor away. Something's about to move forward fast, and you're going to need your energy for it. So make sure you love yourself. And listen, understand that you are blessed, and you are you are protected. Nobody but nobody, and I don't care, angels or whatever, could not sleep on a crescent moon so soundly. Not worried. That one false turn, and you're going to fall right off the moon and hit the earth like, <laughs> you know... But no, because see the white feather? White feathers might be of significance to some of you. You see some white feathers. These are angels watching you, okay? And the, and what you're, what's going to about to move rapidly forward, you're going to have reason to celebrate. This is Aries energy. Again, some kind of uh, excitement, community, home, stability, reunion, parties, marriage. Some of you might be getting married. You know, outdoor parties I'm seeing. So this is stability and, and family and community. So you're about to walk into a very happy time. We'll look at the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. All right, so let's keep going. So you have Aries a couple times here. You have Aquarius and Virgo. What else do we have? Show me. Sagittarius, please, can I have a card? Thank you. All right, ooh, what am I telling you? Thank you, Spirit and Ancestors. Boy, do I love when my guides... Clarified. King of Cups. Daddy. Male, female. This is love. This is somebody who's supportive, kind, somebody who's loving, nurturing, affectionate, but most of all, emotionally mature and available. Okay? Somebody who's not, you know, they're on the level. Um, this is somebody that's a soulmate to you. And I think you go way back because the whales represent the Akashic Records. So with the King of Cups and the Four of Wands, some of you out there are seriously going towards marriage. You really are in stability. Male or female with this King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me. There's Aries on the board now. Again, I told you, right? Okay, let me see. So that's really good. I mean, that's really good. I'm really happy for you. I did say you had Gemini as well, didn't I? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Fairness and balance in the situation. Yep. Come on. Give it to me. Sagittarius. Just be patient. You're going to have to be patient here for what? I don't know. For a minute. Until, uh, you know, listen. Maybe you're going to have to take things a little slowly. Don't rush into things. You know what I mean? Like, even though you're... Okay, so it's about building the... Found, thank you, Spirit. It's about building the foundation. All right? You want to build a solid foundation, so be patient with this. Okay? Now, also, if this is something financial up here that you're working on, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Okay? You just have to have patience, all right? 
I know patience isn't easy. I want everything yesterday too. But you planted the seeds. It's starting. You already see some kind of something there. Because look, this person's sitting on top of flowers and a tree. Something that took a minute to grow. Th there's a rake there. So she's you know, pruning it, watering it, nurturing it, and just being patient. Knowing, look, she already has got one piece of fruit on her. Uh, so she, you already see some kind of um, rewards for whatever it is. Okay? There's, a, there's already rewards. Just imagine when the rest of that blossoms. Yeah, I'm hearing blossoms. You know, you already have a taste. Oh, taste. That's nice. Look at this. What am I telling you? <laughs> I'm so happy right now. All right, so now you got the Queen of Cups. Queen to the Kings. Well, there's two Kings here, but... Here is Soulmates. Marriage. The Queen... Is emotionally mature, available, and responsible. I'm wondering why there's two kings here, though. So this could... There we go. Oh, this is going to be the ending of one situation. So anything that was in the past is going to end. It's going to end. You walk... Be patient, because you're walking into... Um, you're walking into soulmate union here. Scorpio energy. Something's going to end, so something new can begin. Let's find out what this is. Um, so there is a loving couple here, okay? There are soulmates. The queen to the king, parents, people that are going to take, people that are going to be emotionally mature and responsible to each other, affectionate and supportive. So maybe, okay, somebody's coming out of a place of crossroads. With the two of wands in reverse here, um, perhaps some kind of bad planning or some kind of avoiding a risk, maybe having fear of the unknown. Somebody could be walking away from one situation, ending it into another Whatever it is with their soulmate, though. They're walking into it with their soulmate. Here we go. The high priestess in reverse. Somebody who's not using their intuition here. Maybe there's some kind of bad planning. I want you to be careful of this, okay? Pisces energy. Make sure you, you know, that's why spirit says to make sure you're going slow and having patience. Don't rush, right? Because you want to get this right, you know? Make sure you're ending the right situation. Because some somebody here is like ships that cross through the night, okay? You you had some kind of a situation with somebody, and it could have felt very deep, it could, but this was not the one, okay? This is the one with the with the whales, with the Akashic Records. Not the ship that's going through the, the gate. No, that ship is on set sail. That ship sets sail. So there's, you know, obviously you can have more than one soulmate. But what I'm saying is somebody here is like, goes away. So don't, you know, first of all, with the two wands in reverse, do not like... I don't know, overanalyze the situation and do not have fear of the unknown. Maybe your intuition is off here. Perhaps somebody, you know, be careful also because with the high priestess in reverse, somebody could have some kind of hidden motives. And the hidden motives is, could be to give you some kind of fear. Show me one more on this. By the way, could you please hit the like and subscribe? It's fun, it's free, it's entertainment purposes only while I remember. We really, really appreciate it. Show me what's going on here. Just so denial fly by. Show me one more for this. Okay, so yeah, hang man. See what I'm saying? Spirit's telling yeah, thanks, Spirit and Ancestors, really. Spirit's telling you, make sure you're looking at things from all different kinds of points of view. The hangman is somebody, maybe you feel trapped and confined. Maybe you feel like your hands are tied. But more importantly, while you're hanging in the tree, you have nothing to do but face. You know, face everything. See things from all different kinds of points of view. Face yourself. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that somebody, you know, make sure you don't have any uh, hidden motives or repressed feelings or repressed intuition. And be careful nobody's trying to manipulate you with that. You know, and keep you in a place of fear or stagnancy. Afraid to move forward. Some of you might be afraid to move forward because your intuition's off and, you know, you're trying, you feel like your hands are trapped or um Tied in a situation. It's going to be different for everybody. you got a lot of Pisces energy. The hangman is Pisces. This is Pisces. You know? Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. You have Scorpio. There's a lot of water here, Sagittarius. Yeah, the world. You completed some kind of cycle. Taurus energy. With somebody from the past. It's done. I'm hearing one and done. you got a knight of pentacles coming towards you. All right? Now, this could be you growing your finances and, and with some kind of garden you planted yourself here. Or... It could be a Knight of Pentacles coming towards you that maybe wants to offer you a job or something, or invest, maybe even emotionally. However, you know, don't wait. The Knight of Pentacles, forget it. Forget it. They don't move for, you know, nothing. And then there's some, oh, well, look, it's going to be something, some kind of new passionate, creative, enthusiastic energy here. A match lit under somebody's ass. So, I mean, it looks, you know, so far, I mean, it looks good, but I'm just saying. 
Um, all right, so I gave you the signs. We told you we love you unconditionally. We thanked you. Here we go. We begged and bartered for buttons. Let's do a couple of these. So, okay, somebody could be having car trouble. So there's that. Well, just make sure you, all your oils are filled up. Your hair is right on the t on the tires. You know, five minutes of maintenance makes all the world a difference. Somebody could be doing spell work. Now, spell work could just be a bunch of old crones sitting around gossiping about people because words are spells, right? So just be mindful, you know, any kind of spell work that anybody's doing. If it's dark, believe me when I tell you, just keep saying return to send to tenfold and ask for protection. It will go right back. Spirit, don't, homie, don't play that, okay? So anybody that's doing that, if it's in a dark manner, it's they're doing it to themselves. Two-faced in-laws. See, this is what I'm saying. This could be like in-laws talking behind somebody's back here. See what I'm saying? That's spell work, because spelling, you know, the vibration of the words, quantum physics, okay? Here we go. Southwest. Now, this could be Southwest Airlines. This could just be the Southwest of any territory I'm here in. <laughs> so any country, any territory. Also could be, I always get Chipotle out of this, all right? Somebody could be eating Southwestern food, Tex-Mex, something like that. So, somebody's got ulterior motives. It's these damn two-faced in-laws that want to talk about people. Yeah, somebody needs to go see a dentist. Just do it. I mean, yeah. Somebody can be getting bad toothaches, bad headaches. Something like this. Yeah. Somebody's name could be Bill. Somebody could be worried about paying the dentist's bill if you don't have coverage. This is, could be a problem, all right? Something about a bill. There we go. Dubai. All right. So, shout out to India. We love you. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. So cool. Somebody could be attending a barbecue. That could be this weekend, this month, the summer. There's going to be a lot of people attending barbecues. Somebody's smoking hookah. Perhaps in Dubai. Perhaps their name is Bill. Be careful you don't get car trouble. So now what? Here we go. We have spiteful. Well, somebody's spiteful. They have ulterior motives. Look at this. They're sitting around smoking hookah thinking about how they're going to be spiteful because they have ulterior motives. So just I'm seeing somebody sitting there smoking and the smoke going and they're just like... So be careful of any, yeah, binge-watching Netflix. We could be smoking hookah and binge-watching Netflix. Who knows? Something about the color red. Well, watch out for any red flags. The power of silence. Well, yeah, that really works. If you could do it, I can't keep my mouth shut. I don't know what to tell you. Somebody needs to go to AA. Somebody's working on their shadow side. Somebody needs to go to AA and work on their shadow, right? And last but not least, somebody might have some legal issues here. So pay attention to that. Somebody needs to take accountability for something. Their alcoholism, Spirit said. Somebody could be going through menopause. And somebody's doing DoorDash or getting DoorDash. Something about DoorDash. All right, listen. Thank you so much. Always remember, leave a logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.